Hi, our cherished viewers and followers of the KCCN Online Taekwondo Training Series. You welcome once again to the Korean Cultural Center Abuja, Nigeria, where we give you open, fresh, and reliable Taekwondo information on a weekly basis. Today, we are in for session two, episode six. It's going to be a two in one episode where we give you introduction to footwork and at the same time give you the questions for the week. As a matter of preamble, I would like to say one or two things concerning footwork. Footwork in Taekwondo simply means the way and manner you move your body in the contest area. There are basically four types of footwork. One is attacking footwork, the movement or maneuver of the body with the intention of launching an attack. Two, defensive footwork, maneuvering, moving your body with the mind of defending an impending attack. Number three is evasive footwork. In this, you maneuver your body. It looks a bit like defensive footwork, but this has to do with maneuvering or dodging in a way to reduce the impact of an impending attack and possibly launch a counter attack. The last one, which is number four, is fainting footwork. Just like a football where you have fainting, fainting in Taekwondo is a footwork that is meant to destabilize the game plan of your opponent. Once again, I welcome you to session two, episode six. Footwork in Taekwondo. We have different forms of footwork and it can be executed in different ways. But we have to understand that before you can assume or before you can do any of this footwork, your posture determines how you move and make it easy or hard for you. Somebody who is standing wide with legs widely open we we'll find it very difficult to move like somebody who is standing upright. And if you want to execute footwork, you have to understand that your whole foot is not to be on the floor. You have to stand on the ball of the foot this way, not the whole foot. And another thing is your movement, the direction you are moving in, the leg in that direction moves first. And the leading leg or the back leg you are going to must sweep either forward or backward. Now, Another major thing we have to understand is footwork can easily be executed while on bouncing and your body must be relaxed. For instance, bouncing in this way gives me opportunity of moving to any direction and the footwork starts from you stepping forward, backward, sideways or sideways. These are how you move. Now when you include it in your bouncing, bouncing you step forward, you execute something, Backward, sideways, bouncing, sideways. And these are the fundamentals of how to execute your footwork. Now you can now combine it. The movement can be combined in various ways. For instance, moving forward, moving backward, diagonal, 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 or sideways. Then I can still make it maybe two or three steps at a time. You go forward, forward, then sideways. Backward, backward, then diagonal. All these ones are variants and the way you can execute them. Note that your move, your stepping forward only is a footwork. You can use it to attack or to check what your uh, opponent is about doing. When you step forward, you see re reaction. You come back, you reset. Or you step forward, then you move in. Step back, step back to evade, step to side. All these ones are how you can maneuver it. Now let's show move forward, backward, sideways, forward, sideways, sideways, and back. All these ways are basic footwork we learn in Taekwondo. Just by bouncing, you can move forward or backward. Great. Very fundamental description and demonstration. But as I always tell you, as an instructor, you have to build things gradually while teaching your athlete footwork. Remember, it was said that stand on the ball of your foot, not the whole foot down. On the ball of your foot. Leg not too wide, but moderate. At the same time, when teaching footwork, start with walking footwork. Because everything starts from walking. Tell them to go in. If you are receiving a punch or an attack, moving in is a way of defending. It's not every time we move backward. Then teach them how to move from their back, from the back, facing forward. You go again from the back, face forward, 
or you plan face forward and turn back. From there, they pick up to do other forms of footwork that are in turn. Now to the questions for the man. We thank you all who answered our quiz one question. For this month, we're having quiz two, and we have three questions for you as usual. Number one question, mention five benefits of practicing Taekwondo. Five benefits of practicing Taekwondo. Question two, mention and demonstrate three linear kicks in Taekwondo. Three linear kicks, you mention them and show them in demonstration. And the last question is, Demonstrate or perform the Tegu Ilgen. Tegu Ilgen, that is the first yellow belt Pumsi. For all these questions, you do a one minute video, not exceeding one minute, and you post it to the Google link showing at the foot of this video. Once again, do a one minute video and put it through to us through the Google link at the foot for this video. The deadline for submission is 8th of November, November 8th, 2020. We are expecting your responses. Treat! On that note, we say, Chungye! Echo!